The Xbox One has a handful of critically acclaimed Xbox exclusive games this console generation only to be eclipsed by the PS4 over the past two years. Microsoft took a reapproach to first party support by funding five new studios to fill out the Xbox Void. You can already avoid the Xbox by playing all of these games on PC, but are you ready for Microsoft to do away with exclusives forever? Right now, the biggest true Xbox exclusives are Sunset Overdrive and Halo 5. These games, among a few others, are not on PC at all. But almost all of the Xbox One's biggest exclusive games are on Windows PC. Microsoft calls these games console exclusives. This means that a game like Gears 5 is not available on PS4 or Nintendo Switch. It is exclusive to the Xbox One console. But is Gears 5 a multi-platform game because it's on multiple platforms? The PC being the other platform. No, Gears 5 is not purchasable or playable on Steam, Uplay, or any other platform outside of Windows 10. But don't take my word for it, let's look at the very definition of exclusive in the dictionary. Excluding or not admitting other things. As gamers, we have adopted a custom definition of what exclusive means. Exclusive means something entirely different to a Nintendo or PS4 console owner. Because neither Sony or Nintendo have a platform in PC gaming. But there is a catch if you have a disdain for Microsoft or the Xbox. You'll be buying the game, launching and getting achievements through Xbox Live's ecosystem. Microsoft is more concerned with reaching a broader audience with their games than to lock them down in one place to play. Though there are a select few, like Cuphead, that went to Steam, but all of these games are staying off of Nintendo Switch and the PS4. Mikey Barra recently responded to the cross-play controversy of Sony locking content, purchases, and cross-platform play to the PS4. He said that, quote, Sony still isn't listening to gamers, all games should be cross-play and progression, end quote. Microsoft sees the value in access to more gamers and sees the engagement always pushes more game sales. Sony sees it as an opportunity to corral more gamers to buy a PS4. But what does this have to do with Xbox exclusives going away? Well, he continues by explaining that more people game on Xbox and Windows combined than PS4. He says, quote, We run Windows and console, larger gaming audiences who want to play together. If you only serve to bring joy to one part of an audience, then you are behind in many, many ways. Not much will change this console generation on the Xbox One. Not only do you get to play a new console exclusive on PC, but you also get that Windows 10 version for free. Imagine a game like Spider-Man being eligible for play anywhere. For anyone with a capable PC gaming rig, they could opt to play Spider-Man at 60 frames per second. And if Spider-Man had multiplayer, Imagine having an even larger pool of friends to play with. And just sideline your bias for your favorite console and think about getting a free copy of God of War, Uncharted 4, Spider-Man, or the upcoming The Last of Us 2 and Ghost of Tsushima to play on PC at 60 FPS with even greater visual settings and options. Or do you just prefer to play only on console? Microsoft have projected that Xbox games will be available on many devices. This is a death blow to true console fans that hope to keep their favorite few exclusives away from other gamers outside of the Xbox. Let's take a look at what that truly means. So next generation, while PS5 gamers will have one sole option to play on the console provided by Sony, Xbox gamers will have three possible options. They'll be able to play on a powerful Xbox Scarlet console, or a mid-level power affordable console, or stream every single game seamlessly on a $150 box. Microsoft doesn't end the flexibility there. Gaming is all about choice, where and how you play, and PC gamers have enjoyed this luxury for over 40 years. All Xbox first-party games going forward as of 2016 will release on Windows PC. But for those that don't want or need a PC capable of gaming, Microsoft will be bringing games like Fable 4 or other AAA exclusives to capable devices like tablets, phones, and maybe even TVs via cloud-based streaming over Xbox Live. 
meaning that a lone PS5 owner can log into Xbox Live via their Sony TV with an Xbox controller and buy and play any supported Xbox exclusive. This does seem like Xbox is truly going multi-platform. Xbox has no exclusives if you can play their games on almost any device. We still have a lot to learn if cloud-powered streaming will be truly low latency or if visuals or frame rate will need to be paired back. But expect an HD 60 frames experience streaming to a cloud console or to a tablet or supported TV. Xbox is also getting support early next year to stream any PC game to your console with a free app called Rainway. This works much like the Steam Link, which allows you to play on a TV not directly connected to your PC. Rainway also allows low latency streaming from your PC without a device connected to your Xbox. Eventually this will be coming to the Nintendo Switch and the PS4 and other devices, but this is yet another layer of flexibility on the Xbox platform. It's hard to explain the value in having your exclusive games or any of your games not locked to one restricted and closed platform console like the PS4. Top rated Xbox games like Halo, Gears, Forza, Ori and many more can be played almost anywhere outside of the PS4 and Nintendo Switch. At this point, the Xbox exclusive is basically boiled down to, sorry, not available on PlayStation or Nintendo. Will Xbox exclusive IPs ever come to PlayStation? No. The huge difference here is that Microsoft holds their exclusive IPs to the platform, which spans PC and console. Sony holds their IPs to one console, one place, and one way to play it. If you want to enjoy the experience of the large majority of your games on the best platform and the best console with the best visuals, you definitely should have a PC or an Xbox One X as your main gaming platform. I'm going to say that again. If you want to have the best visuals, the best flexibility, and the best experience for the majority of your games, you should be gaming on a PC or the Xbox One X, and the handful of PlayStation exclusives each year on a PS4. This makes the Xbox platform, despite what Sony's CEO says, truly the best place to play. This is Cold Eastwood. Thank you so much for watching. I feel like now would be a good time for those that haven't left yet to explain my channel. It's an Xbox centric channel. I don't always talk about Xbox, but I look at most things from the perspective of an Xbox owner. And the Xbox has definitely become my preferred platform, even though I own and game on a PS4 and a very capable PC. Over the past year, especially since I bought the PS4, I feel like I've gained a broader perspective of how gaming should be. And a lot of my opinions have aligned with the future of console gaming. This weekend, I'll be enjoying Spider-Man, but a small part of me will wish I was playing it on my Xbox One X with a better controller and as a content creator with better visuals and a better game DVR since the X records at four times the resolution, two times the frame rate, and three times the quality. So I'll let you know ahead of time, I will be putting Spider-Man footage up on my channel and it will be reduced quite a bit compared to what you're used to seeing from my Xbox One X. If you've enjoyed this video and gained some insight, like the video and if you think you'd come back and watch more content like this, subscribe to the channel. I rarely give opinions on this channel except for briefly in the outro here. Opinions are dangerous online and people attack something they have no control over. So if you head into the comment section, listen to how others perceive this way of gaming and try your best to be nice.